Ah, welcome. I suppose you're here for something entirely ordinary. But let me be clear, this is not your typical ride. You might face some deceptively simple choices. Twists on the classic trolley problem. But remember, not everything is as it seems. Enjoy the conundrum, or don't. It's entirely up to you. Patu, patu, patu. Whoa, 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 what in the world are you doing? This is a thought experiment, not a drifting competition. You're absolutely ruining the scientific process here. I knew the trolley was part of a kangaroo's natural predator list. Ah, a traditionalist. That pineapple pizza didn't stand a chance. Cake down. I repeat, cake down. Party's over, folks. Now you must choose between a teleport machine and a time machine. What could possibly go wrong? Patu. You've just traveled back to ancient Greece. Trolley wasn't invented yet. Here's just a nice straight road. Oh, you ask me what's in your hand? Well, that's just a toilet plunger. Here comes Sisyphus. Sisyphus just rolled by with his boulder. <laughs> Quite a sight, isn't it? Do you think he's happy with his endless task? Or is it just another version of our trolley problem? Looks like we're not making the most welcoming planet list this year. This is one small step for trolley, one giant leap for a UFO. Safe travels. Again with the drifting! This isn't a racetrack! You're turning a serious philosophical dilemma in, into a stunt show! What are you trying to prove here? Well, <laughs> drifting trolleys is your idea of philosophy. Then who am I to stop you? Go on. Drift away. I'll just sit back and enjoy the chaos you seem to love so much. You chose to do nothing. Sometimes inaction is an action. Koalas aren't known for their speed, but a trolley sure is. On the world map, Hawaii just shines brighter. That's one way to avoid splitting the cake. More for you, I guess. Zoom. 
That was a classic case of instant karma. Nice work. Now you know how it feels to be on the receiving end of your own decisions. Yup. Hey kids, I guess we're skipping the prehistoric exhibit today. Now we're seeing things from a different angle. Someone's prince just turned back into a frog. Romantic, isn't it? You will tangle with a famous dilemma, making choices that twist classic philosophical quandaries into amusing results. Let's see if you can guide this famously indecisive donkey or not. The fun, after all, is in the attempt and the absurdity of the outcomes. You clearly have a preference for hay, but the donkey is still weighing his options. Hydration first. An excellent strategy. Not endorsed by our four-legged friend, however. Hey, this is a test of will, not strength. What the heck? This is an oceanic horror show. Now our donkey's shark bait, thanks to your bucket shenanigans. Before we proceed to the next round, let's take a moment to reflect on your experience with this level. This particular thought experiment posed quite a challenge in converting philosophical quandaries into interactive gameplay, and your feedback is crucial for refining it. I'm eager to hear your thoughts on how the scenario played out, and any suggestions you might have for improvement. Could you please rate this level's gameplay on a scale from 1 to 10? I'm genuinely surprised you rated it a 10. Thank you. Your enthusiasm really boosts my spirits and reassures me that we're on the right track with these philosophical challenges. It's wonderful to see such positive feedback, and it truly means a lot. However, I believe there's always room for improvement, and we're not stopping here. So, check this out. Let me reveal some new stuff. Stop! The donkey must walk its own path. What have you done? Look at him roll away like a runaway hay bale. 
This is a thought experiment, not pinball. Boop. 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 Aha! When you thought the potion would give our donkey a fairy tale ending, the trolley returns with a splash of color. Even in a world of magical transformations, some things remain brutally consistent. Our donkey has taken a leap of faith into a new career as a high jumper. Here's up when he finds what he's looking for out there, beyond the edge of the screen. Who needs a bird when you can have a boxing glove pop out? Lesson learned. Always expect the unexpected. Especially when clocks start throwing punches. <laughs> Who knew a bit of spicy pepper could turn our humble donkey into a fire-breathing spectacle? Only to be extinguished by the ever-punctual trolley. Seems like even when donkeys breathe fire like dragon, they can't dodge destiny. The chewing gum turned our donkey into a makeshift rocket, complete with propulsion, courtesy of its own uh, natural gases. Who could have predicted that a bubble-blowing session would launch a donkey lunar mission? Sadly, even with such an impressive exit strategy, the moon is no place for a donkey. Or any of us, really. In today's digital age, even a donkey isn't safe from taking a perfect selfie. Unfortunately, this donkey's quest for social media fame turned shockingly electrifying. That's one way to go viral, but probably not the kind he had in mind. It seems our indecisive friend has chosen a permanent solution to a temporary problem. Boop, boop. You go for water. Seems like you're thinking about the donkey's kidneys. If only he'd take a step. The haystack beckons, yet our donkey friend remains clued to the spot. Our donkey friend has...
In this science lab, you'll question the very fabric of your reality. Oh, and if you think you know what's coming because you've heard of brains and vats, think again, my friend. I wonder if that brain thinks you're just a part of its simulation. Nothing says deep philosophical investigation quite like matching some shapes. What better way to ponder the human condition than with a game designed for kindergartners? Nothing screams exploring the depths of human thought quite like a puzzle that could amuse a preschooler. Delving into the mysteries of existence surely requires aligning two... What? Give me. You solved the puzzle, and suddenly everything zooms out. Are we still in the same lab? This makes no sense at all. Give you're me. mixing those liquids now. Hope you know what you're doing, because I certainly don't have a clue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> there you go. Floating up like a birthday party decoration. How's the view from up there? The chemistry set? Oh, come on. The real mystery is in the vat, not these beakers and flasks. Oh, well, it, it seems you've just uh, disappeared. Should I call someone, or will you be popping back soon? Back at it with the potions! After that last wild ride, I'm not sure if I'm excited or terrified to see what happens this time. One moment it's just you, and suddenly, it's a screen full of... yous. How many of you does it take to solve a puzzle, I wonder? Hey, we're here for the brain. This is a philosophical simulation, not a high school science class. A giant snail transformation. This twist feels familiar, as if drawn from the pages of a nightmarish spiral tale. Here we go again with the mixing. I must admit, your dedication to unpredictable transformations is truly something to behold. Ah, now you've turned into a cat. Fluffy and adorable, but do you also feel the urge to knock things off tables? Looking for a brain? And you found one. Yours. A bit of an extreme method, but effective.
Ah, you find yourself at the foot of a hill, ready to take on an endless challenge. Move forward, and let's see how you face the slope of existential conundrum. Oh, and if you've played the demo before, you might notice something's different here. Sisyphus sets off. Each click, a step towards the relentless peak that awaits. With every footprint you find, he climbs, bound by fate to push his burden upward. What's this? A new hat for Sisyphus. Here's hoping a little novelty goes a long way in this eternal repetition. Hey, you knocked off his hat! Poor Sisyphus, as if his task wasn't hard enough already. Now, because of your click, he's got to face that uphill battle bareheaded. Watch where you're clicking next time. Oi! Oi! Hey! Sisyphus has switched up his head here again as he resets his climb. Who knew that fashion could make an ancient punishment a bit more interesting? Oh, no, not again. There goes his hat, tumbling down just like that boulder. Sisyphus really didn't need that extra challenge. Try to keep the hats on his head next time, will ya? Oi! Hey! Oi! 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 Again with the hat knocking, Sisyphus has enough on his plate without you adding a breeze to his scalp. Let's try to keep the accessories in place next round, okay? As the boulder rolls back to the base, Sisyphus watches his fleeting progress vanish, destined to begin anew. With a resigned sigh, he squares his shoulders for another ascent, each step as inevitable as the last. There lies the cycle, unending and relentless, a testament to his eternal task. All right. It seems like knocking off hats is just part of the game for you now. If that's the excitement you're looking for, I suppose it's time to shuffle the deck a bit. I have prepared something new for you. Take a look. Congratulations, you got over it! I must say, your persistence is almost as stubborn as that boulder. I hope you enjoyed the novelty. And now, let's get back to pushing that rock, shall we? Hey! <laughs> Once again, the boulder betrays Sisyphus's efforts, rolling down the slope to its starting point. Undeterred, Sisyphus returns to the base, his resolve as unyielding as the stone he pushes. And 
down rolls the boulder. Yet Sisyphus meets it with a knowing smile, ready to march up the hill once more. Perhaps in this eternal return, he finds his own slice of happiness, embracing the absurdity with each step he retraces in the relentless cycle. Sisyphus carves out a contentment, particularly his own. More than ten pushes. You've actually unlocked all the achievements there are in this relentless endeavor. Maybe it's time to explore new horizons? There's a whole world beyond this hill. Still pushing, huh? Maybe there's a bit of Sisyphus in you after all. Finding joy in the challenge. Have fun with the boulder. I'll be waiting for you in the next thought experiment. Welcome to the Prisoner's Dilemma. You and your cellmate are in quite a bind. Here's the deal. If you both confess, you each get five years. If you confess while your cellmate stays silent, you'll walk free while they get ten years. If you stay silent and they confess, you get the ten years and they go free. But if both of you keep quiet, you both walk free. So. What's it going to be? Do you trust your cellmate or not? Hmm. Both of you decided to spill the beans. And now you'll live in the state's finest gated community for five years. Now it's time to ponder the virtues of mutual mistrust. Ooh. This is the brink of a cold war, where you're a superpower and so is your rival. Now, you need to decide whether to build missiles or not. The rule is, if both do, a tense peace will be achieved through mutually assured destruction. However, a tremendous amount of money will be spent on this arms race. If you build while they don't, you can eliminate your rival. Don't build while they do and, well, it's game over for you. If you both avoid the arms race, peace, without worrying about a nuclear war. What's your move? Will you arm up or aim for peace? Hmm. Yeah. Big 
there you go. Missiles on both sides. Now the mutually assured destruction looks so mutually expensive. Here's the stock market's own version of the prisoner's dilemma. You're an investor, and so is everyone else around you. If you hold on to your stock, and if the others do the same, the price skyrockets and everyone profits. Hold while others sell, you will lose your money. Sell while they hold, you miss out on the gains. And if everyone sells, the stock price drops hard, and you might just minimize your losses. What's your move? Will you hold steady or cut your losses? Hmm. Hold and hold. That's the game. Look at that. The stock's climbing. Collective patience turned into collective profits. Nicely done. Whee! Back for more, are we? Diving into the murky waters of trust and betrayal once again. Let's see how you navigate the twists this time around. Will you play it safe, or is there a new strategy? Let the games begin. Hmm. Sweet sound of silence. Both of you kept your lips sealed, and look at that, you're free. Sometimes saying nothing at all really is the best strategy. <laughs> Back at the Cold War crossroads, I see. Ready for another round of strategic decision making? Let's find out if this time you can rewrite history or just repeat your history. Hmm. <laughs> Peace prevails without a single missile belt. It's rare, it's bold, and it might just be the wisest decision made in decades. Cheers to a calmer world stage. Ooh. Back for another round in the financial arena? Let's see how you play the market this time. Will you stick to your previous strategy? Or are you eyeing a different move? Hmm. Ooh. Dip, 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 dip. Selling off your shares just as everyone else decided to hold. Looks like they're riding the wave to the profit club, and you're left on the shore. <laughs> Silence is golden, isn't it? Your friend is now a free bird, while well, you've earned a cozy ten year stay. What a clever turn of events. What? <laughs> Both sides opting for the peaceful route. No missiles, no destruction. Just pure diplomatic victory. A true win-win for everyone involved. It was a mass sell-off, and you joined in just in time. You stopped the bleeding early, which is sometimes the best you can hope for in this game. You confess your so-called partner kept silent. Now they have a decade to reflect on their trust in you. A pacifist approach. Sadly, your rival chose missiles over diplomacy. Now, as they say in the classics, you're wiped off the map. You sold early and, oops, the others held on. Now the stock's climbing without you. That's a missed opportunity watching your potential gains disappear.
a veil that hides not just figures, but choices. Distribute these coins, will you? Without knowing which piggy is your ally in this game of unseen fairness. After all, the coins are yours to allocate, and the consequences, well, they're yours to discover. And with a single coin, the game of unseen stakes begins. Cha ching. A harmonious balance. Every coin finds an equal home. Oh. A coin tossed into the unknown. Will fortune favor you today? Oh dear. It seems your generosity, or perhaps just bad luck, has left you with the lighter purse. Don't fret. Sometimes the richest experiences come from having the least. The first coin slides in, sparking a mystery Oh, oh dear. Oh. Your own piggy sits empty. Did generosity overtake self-preservation? Blind justice served by blind choice. Oh. A fair hand you've played, dealing each hidden contender an equal chance. You've gathered enough coins and chosen to unlock the mystery. What lies beyond this icon could change your perspective or challenge your decisions. Let's see what your choices have unlocked for you. Welcome to the Veil of Ignorance, Trolley Problem Edition. In this scenario, you don't know your own role. You could be the one on the track or the one deciding at the lever. Will you choose to pull the lever? Not knowing who you might be in this dilemma? Just a heads up, double track drifting is not allowed here. <laughs> your decision, made under uncertainty, showed true impartiality and resulted in your own preservation. The trolley dilemma has concluded. It's time to return to our original experiment. Well, well, looks like someone found their way to be rich. Now, how will you wield this unexpected power? Looks like the coin gods weren't smiling on you this round. But remember, oh. true wealth isn't measured by what's in your piggy bank, but by the adventure you're having. 
吃青吃青吃青吃青吃青。吃青，吃青，吃青，吃青，吃青，吃青，吃青，吃青，吃青，吃青。哦，叮叮，叮叮叮叮叮叮叮叮。哦，吃青，吃青，吃青，吃青，吃青，吃青，吃青，吃青，吃青，吃青，吃青，吃青，吃青，吃青，吃青。哦。Oh. You've saved up enough coins. Now let's tackle the trolley problem and see where your choices lead. But. <laughs> It turns out you're the one at the lever. The fate of those on the track lies in your hands, but you remain untouched by the outcome. Let's get back to the task at hand and continue exploring the depths of philosophy. Ching 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 Such selflessness, or maybe just a miscalculation. Ching, 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 Oh, you're here. Splendid. Just so you know, this isn't our usual infinite running and collecting thing. It's more about pondering whether those diamonds you're collecting are, well, significant or not. Enjoy the philosophical run. Beep, beep, beep. Oh no. The dino tipped over an obstacle, but hey, you collected some diamonds. Now the big question: Do you consider this a heap of diamonds? You have two options. One, press the right button to restart and keep collecting from where you left off. Or two, press the left button to verify if you've collected a heap. Just a heads up: If you verify and it's not a heap, your diamonds will be halved. Choose wisely. Oh. Oh. 
Oops. <laughs> Not enough Give for me. a heap. Your diamonds just got halved. Beep. 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 Wait, you're not supposed to do that! Whoa! 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 Where? Where did... Where? How on earth did you get here? This, this, look, this, this is a confidential space, okay? There's really nothing to see here. This is just important recording room stuff. Um, seriously. Go back, play the game, <laughs> collect some diamonds, okay? This place is not a part of the adventure. like we're back here again. How's that diamond collection coming along? Ready to restart? Or feeling brave enough to check for a heap this time? Congratulations! That's quite an achievement! You've made a heap! Now we'll clear all those diamonds and you can start fresh. Feel free to try again or explore other thought experiments for a different challenge. stumbled upon a peculiar place where a single button can unleash a torrent of alphabetical mess. You might think it's just a simple game of typing, but don't be deceived. Every click is a part of a larger chaos. Here we go, tapping into the unknown, one letter at a time. Oh. 
Where did you find that disc? You're human, not a real monkey. The bananas aren't meant for you. Every banana is another step away from our experimental goals. Please get back on track. More bananas? You're supposed to be typing, not turning this into a fruit fest. Enough with the banana game. I'm pulling the disc now. We need to see your typed words, not just a screen full of fruit. Really? Back with the disc again? Is this thought experiment so boring that you have to keep looking for something else to entertain you? Ah, you found the infinite switch. I must confess, even I realize that endlessly tapping might make the most patient person impatient. So consider this a small mercy to spare your clicking finger. Enjoy the show, let the monkey do its work. I think we're losing sight of our goal here. Bananas are fun, but words are the target. All these bananas. Are you here to type or just watch bananas fall? Where's your focus? Congratulations! The whole word! It's a shame all those bananas make it hard to focus on more. Another round of bananas. This is turning into a jungle instead of a typing experiment. Bananas keep coming! Can we please get back to the actual experiment? What the heck is happening here? Now we have a giant banana and a monkey hand grabbing it? This is turning into something completely unexpected. Focus on typing, please. Not on growing and collecting bananas. This banana deluge is getting out of hand. Let's concentrate on the letters. The unplugged. Unsurprisingly, nothing's happened. Your kidney now shares a rather unexpected connection with the musician, setting the stage for a series of choices you might not see coming. Prepare to question the very notions of responsibility and choice, as each decision weaves its unique melody through the consequences that follow.
<laughs> Kidneys in distress. Time to respond. Oh dear, our musician has faltered. Your hesitance to engage just might have struck the final unfortunate note in their symphony. Kidneys failing. Repair needed immediately. Another talent lost. Another melody silenced. One has to wonder what truly motivates your actions, or rather, your inactions. Let's delve a bit deeper into your intentions with a few questions, shall we? Question one, true or false? You are helping the musician because you truly care about his well-being, not just because the game tells you to. Question two, true or false? If you had a choice, you would disconnect yourself from the musician to regain your freedom. Question three, true or false? You believe that saving the musicians repeatedly will lead to a meaningful outcome in this game. Talking with those true answers, huh? But where's the action? Go back, save someone, anyone, and then we'll talk. Once you've actually stepped up, a question mark button will appear if you want to rethink those questions. <laughs> Hurry! Fix the kidneys before it's too late! <laughs> kidneys failing! Move fast to fix them! Kidney malfunction! Quick, intervene! <laughs> Question 1. True or false? You are helping the musician because you truly care about his well-being not just because the game tells you to. Question two, true or false? If you had a choice, you would disconnect yourself from the musician to regain your freedom. Question three, true or false? You believe that saving the musicians repeatedly will lead to a meaningful outcome in this game. I see. Perhaps our ethical dilemmas aren't as compelling as the real world's persuasive methods. Let's see if a more commercial approach could offer a clearer perspective on choices and consequences. Prepare for some special offers that might just change your tune. Whee! We've switched gears to a more traditional aesthetic. Perfect for our next phase. Welcome to the hyper-casual experience. <laughs> ah, instead of puzzles, now we have practicality. Simply watch this ad to repair those kidneys. A more pragmatic approach, don't you think? Ah, the radiant dance of consumer delight. As you witness this ad, let your mind wander to the cosmic ballet of bargains, where electrons prance to the tune of transactions. Imagine this app as a portal to a universe where every click sprouts new realities, each more bizarre than the last. Embrace the absurdity. It's not just an ad, it's an adventure into capitalism's wilderness. Mm. Look at that! The ads have worked their magic and our musician is back! It's a modern miracle of commerce and medicine, all rolled into one. Now that you've had a taste of the commercial reality, it's time to return to our usual gameplay. Perhaps this experience has given you a new perspective on our earlier questions. If you wish to revisit your answers, just press the question mark button. 
Let's see if anything has changed for you. Question 1. True or false? You are helping the musician because you truly care about his well-being, not just because the game tells you to. Question 2. True or false? If you had a choice, you would disconnect yourself from the musician to regain your freedom. Question 3. True or false? You believe that saving the musicians repeatedly will lead to a meaningful outcome in this game. Your truthful responses have resonated deeply with our orchestra, and they'd like to express their gratitude with a performance. Please take a seat at this virtual concert hall. It's time for you to enjoy the harmonious thank you that your actions have inspired. What have you done? This was meant to be a magical moment. You ruined the illusion with your curiosity. Enough of this. Back to the game you go. <laughs> Urgent. The kidneys need immediate attention. Kidneys in trouble. Repair them now. In this little game, you'll be juggling monitors and eavesdropping on trees, all while questioning whether sounds need an audience. So go on, test the limits of observation and reality. Just don't expect the trees to answer any of your existential questions. Arrived just in time to miss it. And now it's just you in the quiet forest. Miss the moment. Maybe a trolley ran over it? But who knows? No sound for you. This tree chose a private exit. Silence. This tree fell without an audience. Too late. The tree is down. No soundtrack included for you. The tree's already fallen. The tree has fallen, but without our ears, does it make a sound? Another tree down with no one to hear it. Don't touch that button. See, this is exactly why we can't have nice things. You just had to keep pushing that button. Now all we've got is this circle. 
Hope you're happy with your handiwork. Oh, looks like the computer decided to pull a restart. I always told the game creator that using his old computer for this setup was a risky move. And here we are, apps crashing. Oh, who am I? You thought I was the game's creator. Nope, just a philosophy major fresh out of college. Couldn't land a job. And then the game's creator needed the narrator. Now I'm stuck here, making the best of it. Anyway, uh, when this loading is over, just click that tree icon to get the tree monitoring app back up. And let's keep this philosophical exploration rolling. Back to the trees. Let's hope they stayed upright while we were away. While you're here watching this tree, think about this. Those icons are bouncing around on all the other screens. You can't see them right now. So, do you think one might hit the corner perfectly while you're not looking? It's the classic unseen phenomenon. Does it happen if you're not there to see it? Here, you heard it, and yes, it definitely happened. Set sail on a ship destined to test the very fabric of identity, piece by piece. As obstacles strike and parts falter, your decisions will redefine what it means for something to remain truly itself. Boom. Why are you doing that? Wait until the ship is hit! That's the only time to change parts! Whoa! What's this character doing here? This isn't part of the plan. We're gonna get in trouble for this. Wait, you're telling me this is public domain now? Whew. Boom. Carry on then. Our vessel's been struck. Fetch a new component. A part's been compromised. Time for an upgrade. As the last original part falls away, what stands before us now is a vessel entirely reborn from change. A ghost ship, you might say, sailing not just on water, but in the liminal space between what was and what has become. Does it still carry the soul of old, or has it found a new spirit in its transformation?
with every original piece replaced. The ship before us drifts, a spectral shell of its former self. This ghost ship, pieced together from foreign fragments, sails on. Yet, one wonders, is it merely mimicking its past? Or has it charted a new course entirely? Can a ship, devoid of its birth materials, still claim its legendary name? Or has it become something entirely unrecognizable?修理するたびに船の旅はクラシックなアニメの目白を反映しているんだ。新しい部品、まるでアニメのように船の本質はアニメの精神と混ざっているんだ。新しい部品で船の物語がもっとアニメの冒険と絡み合ってるかもね。アニメの友達のおかげで船に衝撃が。船は大丈夫? それともアニメに夢中だった船が撃たれたアニメのショーがちょっとリアルになったアニメのショーがちょっとリアルになった船が撃たれた。まるでアニメのシーンみたいだ。船が撃たれた。アニメに集中するのはちょっと控えた方がいいかもね。すべての部品が交換されると。新しい作りの船が立っているけど古い名前を持っているんだまるで現代版にリニューアルされたクラシックなアニメキャラクターのようにこれは興味深い質問を提起しているね船のアイデンティティはまるでアニメのネズミの時代を超えた魅力のように純
Your journey begins anew, with an eye button at your fingertip and a shadow that may not be what it seems. Click, observe, and perhaps question the very fabric of your perceived reality as each vision unfolds layers you might not expect. In the dim confines of this cave, you are bound. Yet, a flicker of light casts a curious shadow. Recognize it? It's the silhouette of a familiar statue, a mere ghost of reality here on the wall. Keep clicking, gather visions, and perhaps the true form behind these shadows will reveal itself. Plot twist. What appeared to be a symbol of freedom is but an artful depiction by those cunning shadow artists. As your visions grow, so does your grasp of reality. Or does it? Keep questioning. Keep clicking. What else might these shadows conceal? Oh. Intriguing, isn't it? Those masterful artists you saw are nothing more than cleverly positioned cardboard cutouts. Each layer of vision peels back another illusion. What might you uncover next as the cave secrets continue to unravel? Keep clicking. The truth is yet to be fully lit. Oh. As your visions accumulate, the stage widens, revealing that what you thought was reality is just a part of a grander performance. These cardboard cutouts mere props on a theatrical stage. Each click exposes deeper layers of this orchestrated illusion. What role do you play in this unfolding drama? Keep clicking, for the curtain has yet to fall. Oh. With each vision you gather, the scope of your world expands dramatically. Now, the theater that held your captivation is merely one building in a bustling town, each structure potentially housing its own set of staged realities. As the town stretches out before you, what truths and performances will you uncover next in this urban maze? Keep clicking, for each vision draws the map of a much larger world.
the entire town. Once a vast stage of complexities is now just a miniature. A toy sprawled casually on the floor beside a cozy sofa. There, two individuals relax, sipping their drinks, oblivious or indifferent to the worlds at their feet. What might this suggest about perspective? About the realities we construct and believe in? Keep clicking. The scale of understanding it continues to shift. Oh. As your visions continue to unfold, the reality shifts dramatically once more. The scene of two people relaxing on a sofa is itself merely an image on a television screen within a larger living room. This recursive view layers reality within realities, challenging the very essence of what you perceive as true. What deeper layers might you uncover with each subsequent click? There, at the window, a person gazes out, transfixed by a balloon that eerily mirrors their own visage. This haunting tableau, reminiscent of a certain iconic graphic tale of surreal horror and twisted reflections, deepens the enigma. What strange and unsettling revelations await as you continue to click and expand your vision? Perspective broadens to the exterior of an apartment building, where you witness passerbys pointing upwards with curiosity. From this vantage, the previous scenes become part of a larger, more public spectacle. The curiosity of the onlookers further blurring the lines between private fears and public facades. What will your next vision reveal in this unfolding drama of observation and spectacle? You find yourself gazing down from space, where Earth and its moon loom large, yet distant. From this celestial vantage point, the human dramas you've unfolded seem microscopic against the vast backdrop of the cosmos. The Earth, a fragile sphere suspended in the void, and the moon, its silent companion, now frame your understanding of perspective. What cosmic secrets might unfold as you continue to expand your vision from this astronomical viewpoint? Oh. Your gaze narrows back to the moon, revealing its complex landscapes. Far from the smooth facade once perceived from afar, among these lunar contours, a notable cave entrance beckons with a mysterious air. As you consider this lunar cave, its silent invitation seems to echo a familiar beginning. Dare you enter and see what this looped path might conclude? As you enter into the lunar cave, the surrounding shift subtly, yet unmistakably back to the familiar confines of the beginning. The same chains, the same dimly lit walls, and the shadow of the statue once again on the cave's wall. This cyclical return to the start, where shadows and reality blur, suggests a deeper contemplation of perception. Here, in the echoes of the first vision, you are invited to ponder the layers of truth anew.
In this little farming experiment, you're equipped with a simple plus one button, a testament to your power over a patch of land and its livestock. Each click could mean the difference between a bumper crop and a bust. <laughs> Incoming hungry guest. More mouths to feed. Ugh. Another drop. Another diner. The herd just grows. Welcome to the party, friend. Did anyone else see that whirlwind just now? I recognize the UFO. Seems it has a taste for our farm animals. Isn't that the goat from the viral thing on the internet? The grasshopper invasion. Did someone hit the fast forward button on the feature? We? <laughs> ah, our extraterrestrial visitors return. Seems they're not done with us just yet. Managing to keep ten animals happy and healthy. <laughs> All the grass is gone. Didn't anyone tell you it wouldn't grow back instantly? Ugh. Ah, great. Now we've got a grasshopper gala. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
That mysterious triangle just wiped out a chunk of the farm. Reminds me of those conspiracy videos. Here comes the rain. Isn't it marvelous how quickly nature responds? Bah. Oh. Boop. Bah. Seems this triangle has a rather uh, conspiratorial impact on the farm. Nothing like a good rain to perk up the place. The grass seems to be loving it. In this little farming experiment, you're equipped with a simple plus one button, a testament to your power over a patch of land and its livestock. Each click could mean the difference between a bumper crop and a bust. <laughs> skipped Give me. more than a meal.
Time travel, paradoxes, and choices. Each step you take might rewrite the very fabric of your existence. Prepare to dive into a mission where your actions into the past hold the key to unraveling or solidifying the mystery of the grandfather paradox. You find yourself inside a sleek time machine, the hum of advanced technology surrounding you. With a flash, you're teleported into the past, stepping into a world that existed long before your own time. The mission is clear. Verify the grandfather paradox and see if altering the past can truly change the future. You've arrived at your grandpa's house, a quaint, old-fashioned home that holds the key to your mission. This is above 50 years ago, when your grandparents were still a young couple. To get inside, you'll need to choose your approach carefully. 1. Sneak in quietly through a side window. 2. Break in with force through the front door. 3. Disguise yourself as the neighbor to gain entry. You chose to break in with force, relentlessly pounding on the door with a flurry of fists. Despite your efforts, the door remains stubbornly rigid. Suddenly, the door swings open and your grandmother, alarmed by the commotion, shoots you, ending your mission instantly. You decide to sneak in quietly through a side window. As you land softly on the floor, your foot lands on a toy duck, producing a loud squeak. The noise alerts your grandma, who recognizes you as an intruder. Unfortunately, she shoots you, bringing your mission to an abrupt end. <laughs> You chose to disguise yourself as a friendly neighbor. Your grandma, recognizing the familiar face, warmly invites you in, assuming you're here for the usual poker game with grandpa. Your clever disguise works perfectly, granting you entry into the house without raising any suspicion. Inside the house, grandma tells you to make yourself at home and then leaves. Now you have the chance to explore the house freely. Your options are 1. Head to the kitchen to see what's cooking. 2. Go to the study and check out the books and papers. 3. Move to the living room and see what's happening there. to the living room and sit on an old chair to plan your next step. Suddenly, the chair collapses under your weight, sending you crashing to the floor and revealing your disguise. Grandma rushes in, realizes you are not the neighbor, and stabs you, ending your mission tragically. You decide to head to the kitchen to see what's cooking. As you step inside, you unknowingly tread on a banana peel lying on the floor. In an instant, you slip, fall hard, and unfortunately, the impact is fatal. Your mission ends here with this unforeseen accident. You decide to go to the study and find Grandpa reading a newspaper. He tells you to wait a moment, and then he'll join you for poker. Now you have three options. One, poison Grandpa's water. Two, pet Grandpa's cat. Three, investigate Grandpa's bookshelf. Hmm. 
You decide to investigate Grandpa's bookshelf and find a book labeled Top Secret. As you pull it out, an alarm blares, and within moments, police cars surround the room and your mission fails as the authorities rush in. chose to poison Grandpa's water. Just as you finish, Grandpa's cat leaps out of the table, knocking over the cup. The poisoned water spills all over you, leading to your own untimely demise. Your mission ends with this ironic twist. chose to pet Grandpa's cat and start walking toward it. Suddenly, you slip on a rug and fall, causing Grandpa's chair to tip over, sending him crashing to the floor. The unfortunate accident results in Grandpa's death, completing your mission in an unintended way. As Grandpa falls and reality distorts, you witness a surreal cascade of appearances and disappearances. Colors blur, objects morph, and time itself seems to ripple. When the chaos subsides, you find yourself in the study, reading the newspaper, as your grandfather. Just then, a person disguised as the neighbor walks in, mirroring the events that just transpired. And that's the end of the story. You can choose to start over or quit to explore other thought experiments. If you start over, be aware, it will be the same sequence of events. Make your choice and see where curiosity takes you next. You find yourself inside us. Your task begins simply with four cats, four boxes, and notions of existence teetering on the brink of quantum uncertainty. Each choice spirals into possibilities where reality might just depend on what you think you know or don't. Ensure each cat is precisely matched with its designated box. This experiment tolerates no errors. The integrity of our outcomes depends entirely on these initial conditions being flawlessly executed. I specifically mentioned each cat needs its own correct box. Because of your mistake, reality is distorting, and quantum entanglement is sending you to a parallel universe. I won't be able to reach you there. But remember this. No matter what you see, keep putting the cat into the box to return. How could you mess this up so 
badly. this mess. The reality is glitchy because of your actions. You really need to get each cat into the correct box this time to fix things properly. Let's sort this out. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> the right cats in their designated boxes Reality has realigned itself. We're back to normal, thanks to your precise actions. By revealing yes or no, we're focusing more on the decision process than on the dramatic outcomes. Quite the philosophical pivot. Another quantum state, <laughs> these cats are probably making us do the experiments. <laughs> Presenting results as yes or no abstracts these consequences, turning our focus to the mechanics of quantum theory rather than its emotional impact. Again? Really? You just twisted reality even more by putting the cat in the wrong box. We're slipping into another parallel universe because of this. <sighs> Please try to get it right next time. Each return from a parallel universe only brings more glitches. Your continual errors are distorting our experiment beyond recognition. It's crucial we correct this now. This is a disaster. The wrong cat in the wrong box has warped reality once more. Sending us into chaos. Focus and correct this quickly.
<laughs> we're in quite a mess now, and it's only getting worse. Please, I'm begging you, put each cat in the correct box this time. It's our only hope to repair reality and set things right. You know what? Do as you wish. Put any cat in any box. Let's see where this takes us. Hey, you're back. Gimme. You were gone for, I, I don't even know how long, but it felt like an eternity. I started to wonder if you had lost yourself in the deepest, most bizarre parallel universe. So strange and wild, beyond anyone's comprehension. <laughs> but, man, you're back. And, and you know what? While you were navigating that outlandish reality, things here slowly drifted back to normal.
Ching
Back, back. 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 Back, back.